What's up guys? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. The Ashlands is going to be with us very soon. Iron Gate originally said that it was going to be in the first six months of the year, which means at the absolute latest it's coming in June, which is less than a few months away. So this is the second part in a series of streams that I'm doing where I'm starting a brand new character on a brand new world. And this is going to be our Mistlands, uh, sorry, our Ashlands preparation playthrough. We've got our character Ash. And uh, the plan with this is to uh, basically beat the game up until the Mistlands. We're going to defeat the Queen. And then we're going to prepare some gear and stuff ready to go into the Ashlands when it launches. And that's going to be the end of this series. And then when the Ashlands launches, we're going to continue on and go straight into the Ashlands around launch. What's up, Kick Rocks? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good, bud. Um, so yeah, le yesterday in part one, we um, actually um, defeated the first two bosses in the game, Ikthir and the Elder. Um, and then we uh, got our first portal set up um, at the spawn so we can teleport there to ability switch and stuff. And we got started on our first main base, which is here underneath the Elder. Uh, so we dug it out. And yeah, that's what we did yesterday. Not bad for a few hours work. What's up, Daniel? Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're doing good. So yeah, today, what I want to do is... Um, I think I'm going to build a trench as some sort of defense, first of all, for this base, just to make sure we're fully protected from raids. Other than that, we'll be very protected once we've done that. Um... I would like to upgrade our forge and our workbench so we can start upgrading our gear. Uh, I would like to grind for a full set of troll armor and upgrade that as far as we can. And I would also like to get to the swamp um, so we can get started on iron gear. And then I would like to use stone to actually start fortifying and doing this base up a bit. So I'd like to use stone for that. Uh, what's up, Daniel? Thanks for stopping by. What's up, Connor? Thanks for the stream. Hope you're doing good. Happy Saturday. Uh, what's in the Ashlands update anyways? Haven't played or watched Valheim in a while. Uh, the Ashlands is a whole new biome. Basically, since the game launched, we're going to start digging this trench now, chat, I think. Um, since the game launched, basically, um... The southernmost point of every map, basically, like, there's a continent here on every map. has always had an Ashlands in it. But the Ashlands is pretty empty. And just current contains, like, a few Sirtlings and stuff like that. The Ashlands update is going to finish the Ashlands biome. And, uh, yeah, it's, you know, one of the final biomes in the game, as far as we know. Because... There's only Deep North that we've got that's technically un unfinished after that and uh, in the ocean. So yeah, it's a major biome update. It will have a new boss, lots of new gear and uh, some new features. They've, they've basically said, they've, they've teased something called like Fortress Mode. Where it seems like you're going to be like sieging some kind of dungeon. There's going to be some new dungeons and stuff. So we, we don't know exact details. We just know little details. But yeah, it's definitely going to be all of the above. What's up, Grimori? Thanks for coming the stream. I hope you're doing good, bud. Yeah, it's going to be um, a lot, probably. Ashlands was a massive update. Uh, sorry, Mistlands, sorry, was a massive update, right? I'm expecting it to 
at least be that big and I'm kind of wondering I I, I don't know I, I just have a feeling it's going to be even better honestly it's totally unfounded there's no reason to really think that but I just feel like even though the Mistlands update was amazing um The terrain of the Ashlands and the actual, uh, sorry, the terrain of the Mistlands, keep getting confused now, and the actual Mist mechanic, you know, it's not my favorite thing. It's a little bit annoying, and so I think I'm going to enjoy Ashlands update a lot more, so I'm hyped for it. Happy day. <laughs> That's a good one. Happy day, Mark. Have a stuff by the stream. Hope you're doing good. Here, it will be pot roast. And Cole Tannen to celebrate St. Patrick's weekend. Oh, nice. What is St. Patrick's Day? Never even really thought about it. Well, I almost fully underwater doing this right now. I mean, honestly, I don't really care, like, how neat this is anyway. It's really just about protection. Sunday, okay, cool. Does that mean uh, if I stream tomorrow, we have to drink? What's up, Hero? Thanks for the stream. Hope you're doing good. Foggy Mark, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. Thanks for supporting the content and keeping the dream alive, bud. Hope you're doing good today. Very generous. We're almost swimming trying to dig this. But it will be worth it in the end. I do find digging moats to be a little bit tedious in Valheim, but once it's done, it sort of serves its purpose and, you know, pretty good from that point. A pint from Nah. <laughs> a pint from NA. Thanks so much again, Mark. You're legend. Thanks for supporting the content. Keeping the dream alive, bud. Definitely don't want to accidentally cut into our wall here. It's super fun to be back to streaming anyway, guys. I had a lot of fun yesterday. Looking forward to cracking on today.
If I remember rightly what the terrain is like outside our base, we basically have nothing to worry about because it just ends up going into some sort of like cliff kind of like little bay thing. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Exactly. have it cut into here and then hmm. they are going to be able to technically walk through some of this so I don't want this to wind up being like a weak point in our perimeter do we maybe we just dig out a bit more of this Thanks a lot for stopping by the stream anyway, everyone. Hope you guys are doing good. What's up, Walter? Thanks for stopping by the stream. We're just going to do this moat and then we're probably going to go and start hunting trolls for a bit, by the way, chat. I should stash some of the stone as well, let's remember. So Drew, thanks for stopping by the stream. Hope you're doing good, dude. We're just doing this so we're sort of raid proof before we uh, carry on the playthrough. When is Ashland's update? I actually did remember to make a command today. You can either do exclamation when or exclamation ash in the chat, by the way. If anyone, any viewers want to help out any chatters asking about when the update is. But the answer is June at the latest. Euphoric, thanks for coming the stream. I hope you're doing good, bud. Hell yeah, what's up? Well, she's talking about the stream again, bud. Hope you're doing good. You're welcome, Hash Brown. Thanks for stopping by, bud. What are you doing? Sneaky Grey Dwarf. I 
I need to get one of them bot things set up, don't I, where a bot auto replies to when someone asks a question. That'd be good. What's up, Terry? Thanks for watching the stream. Hope you're doing good. time. Oh, thank you for explaining someone in French. That's cool. I don't speak French. So that's a hard one. <laughs> thank you, Moko. I appreciate that. I am, thanks, Terry. I'm actually feeling even better today. Need to go a bit further. I love a good mo. Also, all this base side they are. Thanks, bud. Yeah, it's quite a common one, I think, to uh, build underneath this bad boy. Oh, I've actually somehow gone a bit far, but that's also can't really go too far unless you're super OCD. It's the bigger the better really it just takes more time <laughs> yeah so most enemies unless they fly can't really cross a trench they just stop with it's like a, the, if a drop is above a certain size they just won't go over it and then because we're building underneath the boss lair like flying raids also won't reach us. So it's a pretty raid safe base that we're trying to build. What's up, Canary? Thank you so much for the $20 super chat, you legend. Thanks for supporting the content and keeping the dream alive. Legend, bud. I hope you're doing well. Very generous. Thank you very much. shallow here. Just got to be careful not to dig too far into this right side because we'll end up destroying our base. Poggy. Good to see you, Nick. Oh, good to see you as well, Canary. Thanks again so much for the $20 super chat, you legend. Thank you for supporting the content and keeping the dream alive. Face is getting a bit dark on camera, isn't it? Turn this light up a bit. Oh, you wondered if it was some funky way of just beating the elder? Um, I've seen people do the elder this way, but yeah, it's not really recommended. <laughs> How close are we getting? Pretty close. My favorite ever Elder Strat from the speedrun doesn't work anymore. Because um, now they, they patched the game to make enemies more aggressive against structures. But when the game first launched um, they were less aggressive against structures and would only really go for workbenches so you could actually 
place down literally like one wall tile and one roof tile and if if you stood on basically you built it like right next to the elder as he was spawning in and you could actually he wouldn't be able to see you because you were actually underneath the roof to his like eye line and it's a super funny strap and you just used to do that whilst burning in with a fire and getting a few melee attacks in that used to be like the meta speedrun strat at one point <laughs> pretty funny What's up, Robert? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. I like your content, but your base is super ugly. Bro, I just got started. What do you mean? Come on, bro. We'll make it pretty on the inside. Eventually. I promise. That is actually hilarious, Bob, because the way I see it is I'm trying to not get numb to interacting with people. So I'm treating everybody equally instead of being completely numb and miserable to every person in the chat. I genuinely, every single time, I thank someone in the chat. Mean it. That's why I'm thanking it. I wouldn't do it otherwise. And I genuinely hope they're doing good. If you think that someone being consistently positive... ...to another human being is inherently disingenuous then uh, that's more of a you problem but I'm sorry you have that world perspective and when I say the same thing when I thank people it's because that's genuinely what I mean I used to have giants destroy my portals so I make a big moat around my main base. Yeah, moats are so good at handling AI and stuff. <laughs> Thanks, e I appreciate that. Okay. We're pretty secure with this now. Listen, Bob, I don't know what's wrong, but nothing you're saying is registering with me whatsoever because I am a genuine person and that's how I live my life. If you think that repeating positive words to people make someone disingenuous that's a you problem dude like there's you you're not going to convince me at all because i know the reality and my com compute my community knows the reality 
you have somehow found a way to create ne negativity out of somebody trying to be positive to people consistently on the internet. Right, I think we should go... And... Start looking for trolls? Question mark? Maybe we... Make some more arrows. Thank you, Coma Dick. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good, bud. What kind of prep are you doing for Ashlands? Well, I'm going to beat all the bosses first. You already have an infinite supply of trolls in their trap. True. I am doing well, thanks, Chrome. I hope you're doing good, man. It's, um, yeah, whatever, chat. What was the saying? What was the qu Oh, yeah, we're answering what we're doing for prep. We're beating all the bosses, and then... We're going to basically put together like a set of gear and some loot and stuff and some food that we want to use in the Ashlands. And then we're going to sort of like log off and leave it at that until the Ashlands come, uh, update comes out. And then we'll go, uh, we'll dive in the update when it comes out at that point. you ever beat all the bosses? Or is it the first playthrough? <laughs> um, yeah, we beat all the bosses. I speed run this game, so we've done it a lot. Yeah, the Twitch changes to TOS, I think, make it a uh, bit of a gray area about having chat on the screen, so I just don't do it anymore. But we do stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. And now we can do it and have a Twitch sub button, which is great. What's up, Owen Wilson? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good, bud. Let's destroy the spawner just to clear out the enemies. Don't want an infinite supply of raid wars coming and ruining our day. We could really do to go hunting actually. And accumulate some meat.
Well, because this is my Ashlands prep playthrough, where I want to continue on into the Ashlands once it launches from this save, I'm just playing on normal on the default world modifiers because they always rebalance like a ton of stuff after a big patch comes out and sometimes if you're playing especially like the test server build which i plan to you know the balance could be crazy so certain enemies like might do like crazy damage and probably will considering it's the ashlands and uh factor it in the fact that like the hardcore and the, and the hard like well, like the way the difficulty sliders work, it, like obviously, is not balanced. Like it is, it's supposed to just be ridiculous, like cranked up. I don't really want to play those world modifiers. Um, on a build of the game that's not been like rebalanced, if you know correctly, if you know what I mean. So I'd be a bit worried about doing like hardcore or something for Mistlands. Ashlands prep, sorry. Because, like, imagine if you're doing hardcore and then the Ashlands update comes out and there's just some buggy enemy that's not balanced yet that, like, just one shot, trip, one taps you and then you just lose all of your gear just because the update was buggy or whatever. You know what I mean? So, I I'm going to keep up, like, my first playthrough of the Ashlands update on this normal one. And uh, once it's all balanced and fully updated and stuff, I'll start to mess around with other modifiers again. Probably on a different playthrough. Okay. Let's chill a little bit. Regen. don't massively need to be here but obviously like this stuff is still useful more cores would actually be good to be honest yeah they're not parrying thing yeah it's a bit weird Isn't it relaxing to chill Valheim rather than speed Valheim? Oh, for sure. The number one reason why I'm uh, actually doing this right now is uh, that, yeah, obviously I just got done making a big challenge video. And yeah, after doing all the challenges and speedruns lately it's like I'm, I'm actually it's been a while since i've played valheim normally we're still going to be doing some speed and strats and stuff of course but you guys know what i mean and then yeah i just feel like excited about the prospect of that Do you play modded Valheim? If so, do you have any fun ones? Just got finished with the old bosses. I want to play something modded that's fun. Um, I do dabble with mods a little bit. Um, here and there, like 
I've never done like a full modded playthrough. Um, but yeah, there's lots of really good mods for this game. There's like a raft style mod that makes it so you can basically craft your own boats and stuff, raft style. That's good. That's a good one. Oops. And um, I really like first person mod. Epic loot is really good. Um, there's one that like uh, just adds like more information so you can see like when fermenters and stuff is ready. Uh, what's the one called that like adds the new bosses and new enemies and stuff to like all the biomes? I can't remember what that one's called. Oh my god, how does that not timed correctly? Oh, did you? You'll almost never see me like sneak up and do so, like do a backstab or whatever on an enemy because like I just don't care I'm sort of not numb to the danger of most enemies in this game Maybe with uh, bows and stuff, I'll do sneak attacks sometimes. But. I, w I really like to dodge a lot. Um, I, one of the reasons is like, Dodging is like so important on the speedrun when you're going around with like nothing. So I tend to just like rely on on that a lot because I always kind of need the practice for the speedrun and that. Thinking about doing a challenge run with stamina permanently set to zero. Got every biome figured out except Misslands. You know, any speed on glitches, get into the green arena without using stamina. Yeah, you just clip. You'd have to clip if you wanted to do that. And then, uh, 
that there's a bunch of ways you could kill her without using stamina. Eat the poison fish. Yeah, June. Can't use clips. Placing things with hammer requires stamina. Um... Well, maybe you can do some clips in the game. Um, oh, press the wrong button, didn't I? Some clips are doable without place in something like certain dungeon clips that use dungeon doors I don't know I'd have to think about it it might be doable and I, I'd have to investigate it something to bear in mind with that kind of stuff right when you're figuring out like alternate ways in and out of um Dungeons. Um, is that they're all stored high above the land. And you can glide quite far. Especially with like feather cape and stuff. I've never looked into the exact location in the air of the um, boss arena. But I wonder if there's a way you can get in from above. Do, 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 do. Sounds interesting though. Interesting challenge. The absolute latest Ashlands is dropping is June. Let's go and do a little bit of hunting because we need to top up our meat. I don't think we have any. In fact, even if we do, we should top up at, at anyway, regardless. No, we don't have any. Yeah, Iron Gate said it would be in the first half of the year. Which means June at the latest. Uh, we're playing vanilla. Deep North is the next biome, technically, yeah, but um, they've also discussed doing some changes to the ocean and also uh, well, what was going to say? Oh yeah, like they, they, they've also discussed like adding dungeons to planes and stuff like that potentially, so I don't I don't actually know what's going to be next. I don't know if they've said that. When, if ever, are we going to see the base renovation? What do you mean, if ever? Bro. We just got there at the end of the last stream. And we just dug them out. I don't know.
What's up, Hey Zeus? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good. I'm glad to be back to Val Valheim, Jesus. It's been fun so far. I have done multiplayer speedruns on stream and I've done lots of uh, server streams on stream uh, with our patrons and the next one of those uh, server streams is going to be in April. Thanks for the sub on YouTube. Rack shit, I appreciate that. I hope you're doing good. Favorite weapon in all of Valheim? Hmm. I don't know about. I'm not sure about favorite because I kind of like to use like different weapons because like different ones are good for different scenarios. Um. recently been enjoying the crom but i think the weapon that might be the coolest thank you for everything you've done for the valheim community Greetings oh buggy from a danish viking <laughs> thank you so much phase for the ten dollars donation thank you so much Supporting the content and helping keep the dream alive, but I really appreciate that. It's so generous. Thank you. Thank you for everything you've done for the Valheim community. Greetings from Danny's Viking. Oh, thanks so much, bud. Very welcome. Thank you so much to the Valheim community for everything you guys do for me. Valheim was the first game that I made content about. That anybody even watched. I was making content for years before then. But the most views any of my videos got was like 200 or something. So I'm super grateful for the Valheim community. Come on, dear. Don't run. <laughs> More fun watching me than playing this funny. <laughs> I did hear. I'll see a ball before. I'm using the spear arrow trick to see if we can sort of detect him.
I guess technically we don't really know how many bosses Valheim will have. It's not nothing like official. People have made like speculations based on like how many rooms for uh, more stoke like pillars to hand trophies in the spawn there are. But I like to sometimes play a game called Tribes of Midgard. And that also has a stone circle where each stone lines up as you uh, defeat each boss. And in that game, once you've done all of the ones that make the spawn glow up, a portal appears in the middle of the spawn and then you teleport to Valhalla and do another boss there. So I, I don't think we really know. One thing I'll definitely say, though, about where I hope... Well, I don't know if hope's the right word, but something that I think would be cool in Valheim is the idea of uh, teleporting to some sort of other dimension at some point in the playthrough, and that would be so sick. Iron Gate's official statement is the first six months of the year, but it was that specific. That means June at the absolute latest. Which is soon. Bearing in mind, they'll uh, they usually have it on the test server a couple of weeks prior as well. Um, I, 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 it's like, it's safe to assume that, uh, unless they officially announce a delay, which honestly, everything that we've seen so far on the, what like the developers have posted and the walk and talks and the blog posts and stuff. I think there's like zero reason to expect this update to get delayed. It's kind of easy for them to avoid delays as long as they stay roughly on track, right? Because they don't announce specific dates ever anymore. Which I think is actually good in some ways. It's really good. Like what happened with Mistlands that it just came out, right? And it was super exciting. That it was, it felt like spontaneous. We never got a date. It just happened, right? That's awesome. And I think as a gamer that... The weight sucks, of course. But like when it comes, it's awesome. Um, however, I will say as a content creator, it is super annoying that I just have this like massive vague window in my schedule that I cannot schedule for whatsoever. Because last year... Basically, the closest thing um, I ever get to like a holiday and stuff is like once a year. Like my friend takes time off work. And I sort of plan to not be busy at that time. And he comes to stay with me and we just like hang out for a couple of weeks. And just like go to the pub and stuff and be merry. And like last year, it was all scheduled. I was like, right, I said, I'm taking a couple of weeks off. My friend's going over at this time. Vacation from that point on. And then the freaking update came out and I was like, well, I have to make videos. <laughs> Cancelled it. And, uh, the same thing's probably going to happen again this June. <laughs> What's up? Shake, thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good, bud. We've got... Six boar meat and 12 deer meat. Maybe do with a little bit more. 
What's up, my trim? Thanks for talking about the stream. I hope you're doing good. It's going good. Thanks for asking, mate. Do you think the quality the developers deliver justifies the waiting time between the new updates? Um, and how do I word this without sounding too negative? The, the, the way I feel about the pace of the updates versus the quality of the updates is that Iron Gate do uh, seem fantastic. Um, they genuinely seem to be tra trying their best all the time and the quality of the game from the beginning has been excellent. The way they have... Hilda's request maybe is a little took a little long but I think in general when you look at like the uh, the Mistlands update for example um, the quality is so good and the quantity the quantity as well was so big that I think um, for the amount of time they had to make that I think that is fantastic but all I would really say like if I worked at Iron Gate was like I think a lot of this stuff could be packaged up into smaller updates and released gradually um, because the quality is excellent you know I, I, I think it's regardless of whether or not like the quality is worth the wait which i think it kind of is in a lot of ways i, I still think it's not a good strategy to have it us waiting so long just for for, for iron gate's sake you know I, I do think it makes people lose interest in the game and i think that's always been the case since the game launched but they're just fortunate enough that the game is so great that it enough people are interested in it in the first place you know what i mean they have mil millions of people that bought the game right so that so they're set financially from it anyway so you know i think i like the game and i think the developers do a good job in terms of quality but i think that they could release essentially the same content but just in pieces so we'd have it more often. That's what I would say. Technically, the update could come sooner, but I don't see it happening before Easter, personally. It's definitely better to have uh, quality than quantity. I agree. There's something like that, Shake. I, 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 their approach, I think, is good with most things, but like everything can always be done better. And I think what Valheim needs the. To, in order to like stay relevant is like either consistent updates that keep people's attention or you know like one massive update like the Ashlands that 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 does somehow create so much buzz it it brings like millions of new people to the game and I think the second one is harder to accomplish. And I think, obviously, it was great what happened with the Mistlands. Because it did have the effect of bringing lots of people back to the game. But I do think if the update was, uh, was better in a few ways, it, it could have been even better. And I do suspect that the Ashlands could be an even better update, hopefully. 
I just think it sounds very interesting. What do you guys think? Update will come out at the same time as Princess Kate. <laughs> Alright. Let's just go back. It's taking a while. I think it's actually a very interesting comment, Lenny. I'm curious why, if they say it's coming soon, when they initially said it was in the first six months of the year, I'm curious why June isn't soon. You know what I mean? Because that's still soon in my book. Let's cook a load of this meat. Oh, we just bought our wood away, don't we? It's obviously possible for the update to come out like tomorrow. It would actually be a lot better for me if it came out before June. <laughs> then I know I could plan to have some time off in June. Well, Hyman small players said Enshrouded. Thought Enshrouded would kill the game in terms of population. Saying something about Valheim. Yeah, Enshrouded's great. And obviously it's done good. But it didn't do well enough to for that to happen. I was curious as to whether or not that would be the case as well. Too patient. <clears throat> Why is the game called Early Access when it feels like it's been out for two years? Uh, it's been out for longer than that, no. Um, but the answer to your question is because those two things aren't mutually exclusive. Uh, I just hope they don't do the same thing as the Raft developers. They'd release the game, then abandon it with a ton of unfixed bugs. And it does seem better though. I mean, yeah, there's... Valheim's not very buggy anyway, right? So I think... Uh, I don't think that will happen. I'm not sure what like, what will happen. I mean, am I mistaken? Maybe someone could uh, comment on this, but when the game came out, like, didn't they say something about like wanting to basically just finish the game? And then work on like their next game rather than it be like a games of service thing that lasted forever. 
I don't know if you can really hold them to that, even if that is what they said, but I think that is what they said. But the thing is, when, whenever a company makes like so much more money than they thought, and the game becomes so much more popular, I feel like that changes things. And I can imagine them perhaps deciding uh, to keep adding to it. Who knows? Some of the best games they really access for years. Yeah, that's true. Valheim's early access because it's still being developed. That's true too. Yeah, two years isn't a long time for early access, you're right. Or for making a game. I mean, that yeah, that part should be really obvious. <laughs> um, let's explore this black forest a bit more. We still want more troll gear. In fact, we should see. We should uh, start working on upgrading our workbench and stuff. I wonder what the Ashlands Plus Forsaken Power would be. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Well, the queen one wound up being about magic, right? Which I don't think anyone could have predicted. Um, don't think we st still don't have the. Leather for this, do we? Yeah, I wonder if it could have something to do with some other uh, ability or something that you get in the Ashlands. Oh. Lack of organization of the dress. My chest dresses you out. Yeah, I mean... We have spent like no time on base building so far in this playthrough. I probably will just decide to do it all at once at some point. I kind of want to get stone before I really start to make the base look nice. So I want to use stone for it. And then, uh, you know, once we put like floors and walls and rooms in and stuff with the stone, we'll create a storage system that we'll actually label.
what do you guys think the uh, Ashlands Forsaken, the boss power will be? Some of the first steps in Mistlands today. Very big gap in difficulty compared to the playing time mode. Got any tips for that? I did make a video that's called something like the best weapons to use in Mistlands. Um, but yeah, there's, the sooner you can upgrade your gear. Um, the better. Um, seekers are actually one of the things that's really effective against seekers is basically like knockback. Like the battle axe mo like move sets and uh, the crom, for example. Like because of the knockback, it can stagger them like really, really consistently. Um, combining different status effects is good as well with different types of arrows poison arrows frost arrows fire arrows like actually instead of just using one like using all three so then you stack up the status effects The Demolisher is actually a really easy weapon to make. It just basically requires iron once you've got your Black Forge. And, uh, you know, it's like a little bit of ether, I think. Pretty quick one to make. I mean, the um, the bombs are actually one of the most underutilized things in the game. The only thing with the bombs is like, it's annoying that you do have to keep building them. Well, I think building a shitload of bombs for Mistlands is actually kind of good because the AOE is actually super good and you can actually get the poison and the fire effect working at the same time then combine that with status effects of your arrows it's actually pretty massive dps that you can do so sort of kind of passively almost wait we should cross over here i'm actually kind of curious oh yeah it's gonna go like all the way up here isn't it is it worth skipping iron armor and just making one of the mountain sets after bone mass or is it too hard to roll with troll armor um, it's not necessarily too hard to roll with troll armor, but all I would really say about that idea, uh, yeah, getting carapace armor quickly, it's definitely good advice. And uh, but yeah, what what I would say about the idea of skipping armor is that it's actually it, you can do it, but the th iron is so plentiful in the game and you get so much iron so quickly that iron gear is actually some of the cheaper uh gear sets in the game materials wise so that i don't think it you really you can skip it if you want because it, it if you can handle it it's going to save time but um It, it's not really one of the big hurdles. Yeah, there is a lot of iron in the game, though. I mean, you even get iron 
like a lot of iron in the missed ones. So I wouldn't really worry about it. had that many trolls have we the phone reset is awesome Neoed me. Nice ninja. So I'm about to go kind of inland. Um, I do like going around the edges of islands first. Just to kind of know like what we're looking at. Oh, I got a troll cave here. for now all right all right this is good we actually kind of need this What do you guys think about um, 
you know the world modifier where you can increase like the resource drop rate like I messed around with it quite a lot recently and I personally like I kind of I feel like if you play the game a lot right um, I don't care about collecting this seed actually and like one of the things that strikes me about it is I sort of like the idea of having some kind of world modifier setup where you play on like hard settings but you're increased the resource drop rate but currently with the way it works like anything above the default feels way too much because I feel, feel like maybe like they could get a little bit more granular, some of them. We haven't found the trader yet. But we haven't... Uh... We haven't left the island yet. So I wouldn't necessarily expect to. I wish I could make it harder and not lose skills when dying. Um, oh, you mean like... Not... You want to make it harder, but have no skill degen like like as in not like it is when it's normal you know what i mean because obviously there's always like a little bit of scott of uh skills loss when you die because obviously you can just play with the death penalty as default and turn the combat difficulty up but I assume you mean like actually zero skill loss. But yeah, I, I think that is. that I think that would be popular to be honest. I, I've never been super concerned with skills. The, uh, the skill loss in the game. I think it's okay. But I think like lots of people would like to turn it off. I think there is there is a when you turn the death penalty all the way down I think you don't lose skills right but obviously it also makes changes over death penalty stuff I assume like you would wrap it's basically you want a separate slider almost for skills where at the bottom it would just do nothing which I do I think that's that's totally valid that Of a multiplayer in early game where mats are tight and three or four people are sharing deer and bot that you know what that's actually a really good point welsh because i don't play multiplayer that much i didn't really consider that You still lose one percent on the e on the easiest death death penalty setting. Or are we talking about the easy preset? You know what? I don't really want to do this right now. Phone yelling at me. Is 
today's the day we finally find leather, apparently. What is he gonna do? Uh, we have a sleep here. What's up, Carmelo? Thanks for talking about the stream. Hope you're doing good, bud. Nice to see you as well. Seems to be hiding there, set one speed running. Yeah, I mean, the reason we find him, the trader, so fast in the speed run is just that we are traveling across multiple. Contents, uh, continents, rather, super early. Where's the? Didn't get any bees yet? I just now realised. Where'd he go? And you can't use him, he knows. True. Um. What's my favorite zone in Valheim? Honestly, even though I'm a little bit bored of it because of how much Mistlands I've been staring at for the last, what, like several months, it kind of feels like between doing the challenge and editing that video, I still think Mistlands is, is the coolest. Like, the things about Mistlands that I don't like are the annoying terrain. Like, I I think the mist just is a bad idea, personally. Like, from a game design standpoint, just reducing vision, I think, is something traditionally in games that people don't like. Having said that, it, it looks so cool. I love the Zelda Quest aspect of just having to find all of the seal breaker fragments. I like that so many dedicated Valheim fans was asking for difficulty for so long and that they, they did add a more difficult biome. Um, and there's so much gear that you get access to in the Mistlands that is so cool. Um, that I still think it's probably the Mistlands. Having said that, the Meadows is just such a vibe. I do feel so much more relaxed. Not just because of the difficulty in the meadows. We've, we've basically mapped out this whole island now, which is kind of a good thing. Ashlands should be out in, in June at the latest.
by the way guys the absolute best way you can help me out and support me completely for free um is by smashing the like button on the youtube stream and subscribing to the channel because it makes it more likely for my content to show up in the recommended feed so don't forget to smash the like button how many hours in valheim i don't remember it's well over 2000 it might be nearing 3000 now My time in Valheim is so, like, skewed because um, so many casual Valheim players have so many more hours than me because they're builders. And I've never really been a big builder. I've always just done speed runs and challenge runs. <laughs> so... I've beaten the game so many times in that, that that amount of hours, if you know what I mean, compared to these builders. But yeah, it's not like that. Is it true that dual wheel is possible? Technically, my hours are optimized. <laughs> That's a funny way of putting it. Technically, dual wheel is possible, but you can't like make two of a dagger and than use two of them. There are certain weapons in the game that 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 are dual wield, if that makes sense. Like you make the skull and hattie as one weapon, but technic but it's it's a dagger in each hand. If that makes sense. Right, right, right. Hennig, glad to see you continuing from yesterday. Any swamp yet? Not yet. We just uh, scouted out our entire island by running around the coast. And uh, we didn't have any swamp on it. We've not had one in sight yet. Um, and we are gradually working on our troll armor set. Um, right, so we can still make this stuff. What's up, adventure? Thanks for stopping by the stream. Hope you're doing good, bud. Do you have any guesses when Ashlands will be out? June. Do you perhaps know if things will grow in the ocean biome? If you were to raise them above terrain zero? Yeah, they do, I believe. They used to be a really popular thing to do. don't think there was a patch that removed that. Only about time for the first car then. True. We're rolling in the meat now. I'm a little bit surprised that we haven't found more um, trolls but it's okay uh, something that we should work on now though is definitely can now upgrade our workbench 
Oh, do I actually not have it? Right, we need to go and collect a load of flint. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, that's true, Bongo, yeah. Oh. No Bonaga, sorry. Oh, actually, we've not fully mapped out this side of the island, really. Maybe we should do that. It's one of those things in Valheim, right? It can be a little bit tedious, but... So it's good to map out the island you're on, isn't it? No worries about what you mean there. Sorry, bro. I'm glad uh, doesn't bother you. Probably, for the most part, just gonna like fully upgrade our flint stuff. Before moving on to iron. <laughs> you see that board is freaking sending it over the hill then it got air what what exactly are you doing right now other than mapping out the andron I'm collecting some flint so I can uh upgrade my workbench some more and upgrade my flint gear because I'm going to skip bronze gear for the most part we've just we've made a uh, bronze axe we're gonna basically keep it at that because I don't want to make bronze we're just gonna make some bronze nails so we can have a carve <laughs> we won't bother with much more bronze after that Yeah, still after upgrading and uh, finishing off the troll armor set. And then we'll be off to find a swamp. Once we've upgraded our workbench. I was thinking about upgrading our, starting to upgrade our forge as well, but I think we can also wait for that because we don't really want bronze stuff. <laughs> it doesn't really matter right now. This work, we're still was a vanilla way of increasing your slots. It's focus in the game, having more slots, higher gear would help collecting loot in the game. Yeah, I agree. It would be really nice if it was like you could just craft a backpack or buy a backpack from Hilda or something like that. Nice. 
One of my favorite things in the game and in the speedrun, these barrels. What do you think is going to be in there, chat? Put, put what you guess is in the chat. <laughs> what do we get? Blueberries. And some feathers. Ooh. Tin's a good guess. I feel like it's so common. <laughs> Yo, you went looking for Hilda under the assumption that you could buy a bag. Yeah. I mean, it does sort of make sense to see how you could get there. Do, 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 do. Kind of a weird shaped island, right? Hell yeah. Blueberries. So much of the food in this game just does look pretty good to eat, right? I feel like those blueberries look pretty juicy. Has anyone ever played the, uh, what's it called Medieval Dynasty? That game? I tried it out a bit the other day. It's kind of a good game to just have on and listen to music or watch a video or something in the background. It's pretty chill. All I really did was like, I built a house and then I built like a hunting shack or something and I recruited someone to go live in it. That's it. But pretty interesting. What is this weird ass island shape? Well, we could still use another troll, so. I'm down to keep exploring for a bit. find Haldor. I feel like chat is going to rage if I find out Haldor on my starter island. What was this? <laughs> Thanks a lot for tuning in today, guys, by the way. I really appreciate it. on a good weekend. The amount of times that we find the traders on speedruns combined with the... Oh, that's not the right thing. Combined with us winding up finding a trader on my starter island. I think people would just... They would rage so hard. <laughs> Haven't seen anything about Medieval Dynasty yet. Is it similar to Valheim? Um, no, it, it isn't. I, I don't know a lot about it, to be honest. Like, I'm not an expert. I just kind of, like, tried it. I went in kind of blind. Um, but 
what I will say is in terms of like even though it's not really similar to Valheim what it has in common with Valheim is that it's very very chill and um, basically you just like do missions and stuff in this like medieval European setting but you can also like build your own village and recruit people to come and live there and then you have to sort of like look after them I think is I think that's like the aim of the game um, I didn't get as, quite as far as that I just like built a couple of houses but it's definitely like a a relaxing medieval vibe which I could imagine appealing to some of the Valheim audience that likes how chill Valheim is if you know what I mean there is like a story and stuff I think now in the game that they added but I wasn't really paying attention. I think I was actually listening to uh, the Expanse audio book. I loved that show so much. Um, I literally just decided I don't really do audio books anymore. But uh, not in, I've never managed to get into audiobooks, but I love the expand so much. Like I, I want to try and get into the audiobooks of that series. Yo, Dana, what's up? Thanks for coming by. I hope you're doing good. <laughs> Almost twenty k. Let's go. Oh, thanks, dude. Seeing your name in chat has just reminded me. I fucking forgot to shut the server off today like you asked me to. <laughs> Fuck. I'll do it. I'll do it. Maybe I'll actually do it on stream so I do remember. Do I, am I going over here? I guess I am. I have a, I have a laptop over here. Oh. We're going to temporarily close access probably to the uh, the build server guys until the server stream next week so that we actually hit 10,000 hours live on stream. 10,000 days, sorry. 10,000 Valheim days live on stream. Which I think is a cool idea. Um, do this. Ten thousand days of chopping wood. True. Oh, another troll cave. That's actually good. Let me regen a little bit. Okay. Anyway, Dana. All right.
Really? Dude, no wonder we've not, like, fully leveled up our troll armor yet. Like, half the freaking caves we've come into have been empty. <laughs> So rigged, chat. The trolls are trolling. True. This is actually a massive starter island, isn't it? Look. It's crazy. It's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be really fun to show the build server. Build streams obviously gonna the, the stream's obviously gonna be like super good just to just a tour and so it's gonna be a fun stream, but I'm most excited about making the video. Just so we get to show off the build server to a wider Valheim audience, you know? Because I think Lots of people are going to be super impressed with some of the builds you guys have done. How big is this island? <laughs> it's still going, chat. But eat deer always spawn the spawn and near the spawn. Yeah, eat, eat deer is near the spawn. Yeah, building in this game is just so good. So big, it's probably got missiles at the end. I know, right? I still see trees really far in the distance. What's even happening? the server as we speak, Dana.
We had a star island on our hard server. It's just clear to the deep north with no gaps there. It's so crazy. That's crazy. Right, the build server is officially temporarily offline until the next stream. Which will be soon. Of eyes, I like that. We're so traveled so far. Wanna, yeah, yeah, there's another elder here. I knew it. Oh, we found a trader on the starter island. <laughs> what chat? I promise I'm not, I don't cheat at this game. Okay, please don't be mad, don't unsub. We're literally joking about how mad chat gets that I always find a trader on every speed run, basically. And I said, imagine if we find a trader on the starter island. <laughs> and we actually have. <laughs> chat, don't look, all right? I tr I, this is... Well, I was, look, I'll zoom in. Look, like I sailed so, so far to find this. I worked super hard to find this trader. All right. Well, that's fucking hilarious. Almost as funny as the fact that I didn't bring portal mats. To be fair, you did need to traverse water to get to this area. True, a little bit. Well, well, well. <laughs> um, we should probably... It took me 15 different Black Forest Islands to find mine. <laughs> yeah. We hear this sort of comment regularly when we find traders mega easy. Which is basically every time I play the Pal Valheim, apparently. Oh, thanks, Seismical. I'm glad you liked the Mistlands Only Challenge video. Appreciate that. If anyone hasn't seen it, by the way, I did create a command. You can do exclamation mist. Those commands I said I forgot to create before the stream yesterday, I created them for the stream today. So exclamation mist. Uh, exclamation new vid will also get you there. Exclamation when or exclamation ash will give you the details about when we think Ashlands is coming, considering we said that we would do that. But thank you. I'm glad you liked the video. It was a lot of work. But yeah, if you haven't seen the Mistlands Only Challenge, it is the the most amount of work I've ever put into one of my challenge videos. Um, you know, I started that project months ago. You know, it, with the, the inception of finding out if it's, it was even possible, right? And then how to make it a reality. Getting, you know, talking to a modder to see if they'll help and then doing the challenge and then editing it. And out of all of my challenge videos, like... Um... But you know what I think I might do? I think I might create a chest here. Out of all my challenge videos, one of the biggest differences with this one is like for the first time, like I went in I went into way more detail than I normally would, and there's literally like um almost like another three second clip almost every Every three seconds, obviously, for like the entire 40 minutes. It's like I show everything that I talk about from start to finish, pretty much. 
purpose for 40 minutes is a hell is a lot so anyway i would appreciate you guys going to that video and smashing the like button on it maybe even leaving a nice little comment because that shit took forever yeah i did think about that welsh um Let's look for a dungeon. We might be able to get a portal down. I can't quite remember how far back. We saw our shipwreck. It feels like it was a while ago. Thank you, Thosis. I'm glad you liked it. I do want to be clear as well, like, that video was an insane amount of work. Like, I put an insane amount of hours into it. Um, and I did start making it months ago. I wasn't working on it every single day, right? Like, we did streams in between that time. I think I had a couple of casting, like, esports casting gigs I did in, in between that time. And I went through a bunch of, like, shit in my personal life, basically, during that time that it took much longer than it should have. But it's still the most amount of work I've put into any challenge so far. In the Mistlands video, you said it was 18 hours of gameplay. It didn't look like that little. Um, yeah, we, it probably was a little bit more, but probably less than 19. The reason that it looked like it could have been more is actually like, even though we died a lot, the challenge did actually go extraordinarily well. Um, and it was really the queen fight that was the roughest part because I was uh, unpracticed. But when I started the run, because it wasn't all done back to back. There was some time in between doing other things. In some of the days. When I started the run. Like I had spent a lot of time. Planning out what I would do. And figuring it out ahead of time. Um, which is also why it didn't take longer. Um, but. I always do that. For the challenge video. Videos because. Um, I want to know it's possible before doing it. Otherwise, it's too much work for it to not be possible. You know what I mean? The Black Metal Acquisition, you nailed the explanation of. So it didn't feel force broken at all. I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, like, I know that there was, like, so, I mean, I, I've sort of stopped looking at comments on that video because, you know, I, I you know, it, it's it's too hard to keep on top of all comments always. But I think I, I replied to about fifty comments or something like the first fifty, and I think that's a good amount, right? To be in my head, I'm thinking like, if I do a major video project, I, I can reply to the first like fifty comments or whatever. I think it's fine, right? replying to all of them is too hard but I know there was a couple of comments complaining about the black metal thing or that they thought I should have said it ahead of time but most people seem very happy with the video I think it's more just like there's a certain type of person on the internet that you can't do anything about 
them existing. Um, that just uh, comment before finishing the video. So I think when if someone leaves a comment going, oh, how did you build this thing? That's not possible. And then you explain how you got the mats for it later in the video. They then get mad because they realize they have embarrassed themselves in the comments, I guess. And then they'll leave another comment like, oh my God, I can't believe you didn't say X, Y, and Z before this point. Because in reality, they should have just kept watching, you know? Um... Yeah, you can't please everyone. Yeah, I know. You're right. That's why I don't really read comments. Unless it's a new video. I always... Uh, or generally, let's say, I uh, I read the, the first like X amount of comments, whatever I have time for. Uh, over the course of the first two or three days. And then I stop because the overwhelming, I, I have, my comment section is overwhelmingly positive. 20k subs and 10k hour server stream. Let's go. <laughs> oh my God. Dana, thank you so much. That is so generous, bud. Thank you so much for the $100 donation. Oh my God. We see the hearts in the chat for Dana, guys. Thank you so much for $100. It's so generous, bud. Great to have you back. 10k subs. 10 and 10k uh, hour service stream. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's very generous. It's good to be back. I have to say, like... I wish I could have been back some sooner. I was really, you know, I don't really want to get into it because I like my streams to be positive, but I was really fucking going through some shit <laughs> over the last few months with mental health stuff and my anxiety and whatnot, and they fucked me up, and I was trying to still make videos and <laughs> cast esports tournaments and stay on top of everything on as well as dealing with that, and it just was fucking shit but i'm feeling on so much better right now um uh so much more focused on what i'm doing and uh really happy to be back at it because streaming has always been Like some of the happiest parts of my life, frankly, since I started doing it. Like the positivity. I'm just going to go back and look for that shit prick, I guess. The positivity I've always gotten from you guys in the chat, like since day one of me starting streaming. I mean, I know there's probably no one here from day one since I started streaming. Then maybe there's one or two. Because it was so many years ago now. But that I was like, as someone that like struggles with anxiety and stuff like that, when I got into it, I assumed I would be bombarded by negativity. But instead, my journey trying to sort of make it work as a content creator from nothing has been filled with so much positivity and so much love from people on the internet that has always blown me away and made streaming pretty much always the best part of my day or week when I do it so it feels good to be back at it And I will say, <laughs> I've started saying no to things. <laughs> so 
so I won't, so I'm not going to be as overwhelmed, like, you know what I mean? I'm probably not going to do any more esports casting or whatever. I'm, probably not, I'm, not, I'm going to stop spreading myself as thin and just focus on making good videos and doing fun streams. Oh, we found it. This is it. I definitely... Um... Oh, I don't need to do this, actually. We've got a slot for it. Definitely started to take on too much. I don't, is this thing going to be 20, is it? Wait, does that look like we might have more down there? It kind of does, right? Well, thanks again, Dana. For the freaking 100 bucks, you legend. It's crazy, dude. We only need two more. We, I bet we can get that, you know. I just ran over a boy in the middle of the ocean in the long ship. <laughs> How is it to play the game normally after both knowing all the cheese, cheeses and fastest ways to know things? Um, I personally really, really like it. But... Um, I still do a lot of cheeses and a lot of speedrun strats most of the time. Because it doesn't really... After doing all different kinds of weird and wonderful challenges and stuff, right? It's like... I'm not really, like, so bothered about necessarily... Beating bosses and stuff. Without speedrun strats and... All, all the rest of it, if you know what I mean. It's like, not... I think the the appeal of me doing a casual playthrough for me personally now is like more just the uh, the fun of feeling like you're accomplishing more things if you know what I mean and taking the time to build some of the uh, really fun and cool like weapon sets and armor sets and exploring and going to parts of the game and dungeons and stuff that you normally wouldn't take the time to look at. That's like, those are the things that I still really enjoy. Um, building and stuff is like one of those things that um, I actually like g generally in these kind of games I actually am good at building and stuff it's just I don't like building on stream because on stream I, I just feel like um, I always feel like I'd sort of more I feel like people want to see more action from me, if you know what I mean. And and I also feel a bit like self-conscious about building on stream. If that makes sense. Because I, I feel like a lot of chat 
when you do a build stream is just waiting for something else to happen. <laughs> I feel like build streams aren't necessarily the most fun. Um, don't know why, why am I talking about build streams? I don't remember. I think when it comes to building, it's like... I think build videos are awesome. I don't really watch them. But I think it's like an awesome thing that makes sense to me in my head as being content, right? Um, because you want to see the finished product, really. And you can just time lapse things. So you're not just sat what looking at a wall for hours. So I do, I guess what I, what I was trying to explain is that one of the things I do actually really enjoy about the game playing normally compared to speedrunning is building and stuff. It's just like I, I'll never do much building on stream. Um, I think we'll go back this way. If we can find a couple of towers, we can get to 20 fine wood. Um, maybe at some point, though, I will actually build something epic and record it for a video. How do I already have the swamp key? Uh, we already killed the elder yesterday. Today we're really just like gathering resources and fortifying the base a little bit. But yesterday we did the first two bosses. We might do the next boss on this stream. Depends. Oh, we 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 did the the elder real quick yesterday because I uh, wanted to build my base under the elder spawn. So basically, yesterday's stream we did the first two bosses and then I just like got a bed and a portal down under there. We've not really started on the actual base yet, but just getting that out of the way. My God. We did see a couple of towers around, right? Basically, what's happened is we were just exploring the island with no particular plans over then just kill some more trolls for the upgrade our troll armor and stuff. And we stumbled across our trader and we don't have portal mat so i'm trying to get a find just loot some portal mats on our way and just get a portal down before we leave so that we can pull back so that we don't have to keep going backwards and forwards and all we need is two fine wood and some cores. It shouldn't be too hard to find. We could always just walk back to a meadows, I guess. We need to look for a cores anyway. There's no point yet. Here we go. Did I get the fine wood from the front of this tower? 
all of these towers, you can get one fine wood from the stool outside. Yeah, here we go. It's it is there, actually. My god, what is this? Right, that's good. I dropped my rock so I don't have a mats for a fire. Oh god! No, I was stuck on the air. You know when you when you sort of just float in the air. That's annoying. <laughs> That's funny, Hayes. Oh, another one. All right, nice. All right, we just need to find a burial chamber now. Let's get lucky, of course. I think I see one. Right there. It's like one of those underground ones. So that weird shaped rock on top of it. All right. Yep. Yeah, we did Elder last night. Might try and do uh, Bone Master for the end of tonight's stream as well. So we can make him boss progress. We do have a swamp nearby, so. All right, let's, uh, uh, we should probably I'm going to loot some stone real quick. Um, oh my god. I need to go to the bathroom so bad. Alright, be right back chat. I'll leave you with some music maybe. <laughs> be right back, don't go anywhere. Smash the like button on uh, YouTube please.
All right. <laughs> it is spooky music, right? Right, I was going to just collect some rocks real quick. So that I can make a fire. So we can get rested. Another 12 core crypts. That would be very nice, certainly. All right. Any minute now. There we go. Do, 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 do. Thanks a lot for the soap on YouTube. I appreciate that, Daniel. Hope you're doing good, mate. Getting so immersed. There we go. Boom. Um, probably have a million more bones than we really need, right? Whoa, 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 whoa! I have to kill bone mass in hardcore difficulty. I don't know what will happen. <laughs> Well, if all else fails, you could always use the speedrun strap. Oh my god, what? If you don't know the speedrun strap, you can do exclamation strats. And it links you to a video I made where I explain all of the major Valhalla speedrun strats. And I think it should be timestamped telling you where to find the bone mass one in the video. Uh, no, you can, you can uh, stand on top of the skull basically. And uh, build a little structure hanging off the end to just hit him. Goddamn ghosts. Here we go. Oh, I just need one more chat. One more, we can get our. Oh, shit. We're out of dungeon. I didn't make another video now about digging a pit. I am thinking about making 
a series of videos about each boss fight, like one for each boss fight. You know, like kind of how uh, I have the Valheim Beginners series covering different biomes, right? We've got three so far, like Ocean, Swamp, and Plains. And like in the, those videos, I kind of like, I cover all different ways of approaching things and like a bunch of different tricks and like weird stuff that helps. I'm thinking about kind of doing that type of video for each boss fight specifically and just kind of show A bunch of different ways you can cheese it. A bunch of different ways of doing it normally. Do you need to remake the save to load Ashlands properly? Uh, the way that Iron Gate typically do. Uh, major biome additions. Is they... Make it so that uh, the the new version of the biome spawns in areas of the map that you haven't discovered yet. So so long as you've not yet been to your mistland, your, your ashlands, it'll be no problem to carry on from your current save, most likely. That's how they usually do it. And that's what I'm expecting. And that's why I've created this world. Because that's what I'm going to do on this world. This one looks big even actually. Oh, we got another burial chamber here. That's pretty good. Here we go. This has to have at least one core in it, doesn't it, chat? Otherwise, we... Well and truly have been screwed. You're welcome, you lads. Boom. Yoink. Yoink. Move! Oh, I'm getting... It's so annoying they can still get kind of... Stone locked in these places. a crazy parry. Wait, I sort of... Did I figure out something new there accidentally? Sort of did that as I was rolling. I'll have to look into that. Oh, yeah, for whatever reason, I was thinking I needed five cores, but I only need two, don't I? Whatever, we need more cores anyway. I think I've been to this other, so I want to check this troll cave.
Hopefully there's actually a troll in it. Name my first silly guys are trapped today, then found a natural one in shallow water. Literally soon in close now. Hell yeah, nice. I discovered the Ashlands but only went in a little bit when the update comes out. Will my Ashlands be updated in the parts of Ashlands that are under the fog? That is usually how it works, yeah. So it should be fine. I don't remember, actually, if I ever finished what I was saying earlier about weapons, some of my favorite weapons that are actually just super cool. I love the Crystal Battle Axe just for style points. So cracking, thanks for talking about the stream. Hope you're doing good, bud. Alright, let's get our portal down. Yeah, there's lots of things that are objectively better than the Crystal Battle Axe, but I like it because it's cool. And uh, I will say that its secondary attack, the amount of knockback it ends up causing, is actually a really underrated way of dealing with Seekers as well. Okay, so there was a tower nearby, right, where I stashed some stuff. Where is it? Was it somewhere along the coast? Porcupine's definitely cool. There it is. Bruh. Well, so nine thanks talking about the stream. I hope you're doing good. Oh, 
Oh my god. What are you guys doing to me today? Holy shit. Mark, thank you so much for the $105 super chat on YouTube. Thank you so much for supporting the content and keeping the dream alive. But that is so generous. Thank you so much. You guys are freaking Can't let Dana crazy. Have all the fun. Seriously, great to have you streaming. <laughs> but he's jealous. Dana donated a hundred dollars, so Mark can't let Dana have all the fun. So he's got to do a hundred and five dollars. What the fuck, Mark? Thank you so much, mate. You're fucking crazy. Thank you so much. So generous. Thank you, brother. I hope you're doing well. It is great to be back streaming. I'm really enjoying myself. Guys, you know what you should do? Give me one second. And I'll tell you what you guys should do. Right now, now we've got this set up actually so we can start walking back home. This is what we wanted. Just having fun listening to you whilst starting a mountain build. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Sounds like vibes. Oh my god, I opened Discord and now the stream starts to drop frames. Can we not please Discord? You PayPal me? Holy shit. What is going on? I think. Uh oh. I was going to launch Discord for something, but let's abort that plan. <laughs> Seems to be uh, causing massive, massive lag spikes on the stream. Right, we've recovered now. Yeah, launching Discord ju just really fucked with the stream just there. I, I, I closed it immediately. <laughs> oh well, let's pretend that didn't happen. We won't launch Discord. Are you in the chat, Nine? Still in the chat. I want to promote your video. <laughs> yeah, everyone's coming on the like. Oh, someone said about PayPal. Nine, link, link, post your video in the chat. I want to promote it. Because I'm in it. That's obviously the only reason why. Yeah, a lucky adventure. Got a long walk home, chat. I 
Oh shit. You need permission. Can a moderator permit nine to post a link in the chat? Please and thank you. Derek, thank you so much for the five gifted YouTube memberships. You're flipping legend. Thank you so much for supporting the content and keeping the stream alive. You're crazy, bro. What are you guys, you're spoiling me tonight. What is going on? <laughs> Thank you so much for the five gifted Derek, you legend. Wait, this isn't This isn't good. We need to we probably need to kill this troll actually. We should anyway. Welcome everybody. Uh Lazia, BNX, Aki, Mike, the edge of insanity. I hope you enjoy the YouTube memberships. Can a Twitch mod do exclamation permit for nine so she can post a link in the Twitch chat? Please and thank you. Quick, nine, post a link now. Boom. Right, mods, promote the fuck out of that link. See that link now posted in the Twitch chat? All Twitch and YouTube mods, copy that link. And spam it in the Twitch and the YouTube chat, but you can only do it if you're a mod. I'll do it as well in a second, but I'm busy killing this troll. Yeah, shit, I can't do this at the same time. So right, I'll explain this video. So Nine is actually one of my best friends in the chat. And uh, we play Hunt Showdown together when we're both relaxing. And we played this game of... Uh, that's good, thanks Kraken. We played this game of Hunt Showdown where the server was completely f fucking broken. And it, and it was just like you would walk ten like five step fo steps forward and the game would teleport you ten steps back. And, and we're laughing at how scuffed it was. But we didn't want to leave because we lose our characters and we still managed to kill the boss and extract with the bounty somehow. And Nine made a funny YouTube video about it on her channel. I actually do have a new mic. Thanks for noticing. All right, I just need a YouTube mob to uh, go and spam the same link in the YouTube chat now. Make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to tonight's YouTube video to help run the algorithm. We want to get we want to get, I know you, you guys probably don't know anything about Hunt Showdown. Some of you probably will. But I don't care. We want to try and get uh, nine in the algorithm. Alright, can I do this right now? If I post this link. Right, I just posted it in the uh, in the YouTube chat. Oh, Mike Sire as well. Thanks, dude. And thank you so much, by the way, for the PayPal, Mike. You're legend. I did see it. Thank you so much, mate. Thanks for supporting the content. It's unnerving to hear your trolls stamping around in the background. <laughs> True. Go 
Go leave a like, go leave a comment, subscribe to Nan's channel. We'll help her out. She's a friend of mine. And uh, no doubt if she keeps making videos, I'm going to be to be in some of them. Because we play games together a lot. It's turning into utter chaos, isn't it? Just trying to leave. Okay. That was chaos. But this massive excursion, which feels like it's taken a million hours, 100% worth it because we got some of our troll armor maps that we needed and we now have a portal down at our trader. Which considering it's our second game gameplay session, two bosses down, Trader discovered. Oh, well, pretty good. Is playing this harder on controller? You know what? I would assume it probably is, but I couldn't really speak to that because um, I've never tried it on controller. Do I go back the way I came or do I just go around this other way to discover this? We should probably... Go the other way, right? It's still continue discovering new stuff. I should try Valheim on the Xbox or with a controller. I did one time joke around that I was going to try and... Uh, Oh, I'm leaning so far forward. I need to turn my camera, really, don't I? I did joke around once that I would uh, do, like, a joke stream where I tried to sp speedrun the game, but with a controller. <laughs> Having never played the game with controller before. But it would. It, I don't know how long that stream would be, chat. So it probably would be a disaster. Oh my god. What what are you guys doing to me today? Holy Christ. Canary with a hundred and twenty-five dollar super chat. You maniac. Oh my god, thank you so much. That is so much support, thank you. Thank you for helping keep the dream alive. I hope you're doing good, Canary. That is crazy generous. What is happening? Chat's gone mad. Something's got... It's, it's contagious. There's a mind virus infecting the regulars. You're crazy. Seems like quick slip dodge roll will be harder, definitely. Thank you so much, Canary. That's 
so generous. Thank you. You're nuts. Can't let Mark and Dana have all the fun. Always great to have you streaming. <laughs> what the hell? It's great to be back streaming. Can't let Mark and Dana have all the fun. What the hell? So Dana donates a hundred. Then Mark donates a hundred and five. Not letting Dana have all the fun. Now Canary donates a hundred and twenty-five. Not letting Mark and Dana have all the fun. There's a war going on. There's battle for Middle Earth with the donos right now. With the text to speeches. Jesus, thank you so much. It's so generous. I really appreciate that. You're crazy people. Which is probably why you're watching me. Thank you, Mark, for the $10 super chat, you legend. Thank you so much for supporting the content and keeping the dream alive. The battle for middle Nick. <laughs> All I can think about is I want to rewatch the Lord of the Rings Amazon, Amazon series right now. I loved it so much. Reminded me why I loved Lord of the Rings so much back in the day. Somehow I got the idea to rewatch Batman. Hell yeah. Home games work. Gotta work. Gonna work. Thank you for your welcome, Nine. We'll play some, some games soon, bud, when we're not streaming. It's a great day for playing Valheim. Hell yeah. Sure is. Yeah, I have to say, like, I know that there was lots of bad, or lots of people didn't like the uh, Lord of the Rings series when it came out, and it made me assume it was bad, and when I actually, um, when I actually watched it, I was shocked. At how good it was because of all of all the people complaining about it online. I, I personally absolutely loved it. What? Hello, Valheim. Okay, <laughs> that was scary. What is this island even? I'm, I'm just heading back to spawn. I was thinking this is going to like loop around back to spawn, but the island is bonkers. Yeah, the Amazon show, yeah. Yeah, I agree, Journey, yeah. Aren't you current seed of the most el terrible Elder location? Man, like... I gotta say, like... They did something to the... To this game. Quite some time ago now. It's, it's been this... It's been this case for a very long time. Probably over a year. 
but it is it is possible to get the worst possible elder spawns now and it and it used to be so common for the elder to be so close to spawn now it's like that's first of all in being the super close is rare and it's relatively common to into being freaking Narnia or whatever it's ridiculous I don't know what happened there. The Red C was so close to spawn point and the Elder location was so close to the Ashland. Oh my god. That's crazy. I mean, I read the Lord of the Rings books back in the day, but I still like the show. Oh my god. What the flip is happening? What is in the water today that people are losing their minds with these donations? Derek, with the $130 super chat. What the fuck is going on? Thank you so much. That is completely insane and very generous. Thank you so much for supporting the content and keeping my dream alive, bud. And here's why I always say that to the uh, little bell end earlier that was complaining about my canned responses. I actually mean it. I actually mean it. When I say thank you for supporting the content, I'm letting you guys know when someone donates like that, this is the only reason why I'm able to make any content. If it wasn't for the community support, it wouldn't be possible. So the support like that genuinely allows me to keep making content and keeping my dream alive my only dream with all of this thing is just to be able to keep doing it because i love doing it and so every freaking little helps and that's not even a little. So literally, you are helping keep my dream alive. And that's why I say it, because it means that much to me. Can't let Mark, Dana, and Canary have all the fun. LMAO. Love your content, man. Hope to see you have more subscribers in the near future. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> So now Derek won't let Mark, Dana, or Canary have the fun. Jesus. <laughs> You're legend. Thank you so much, Derek. I'm glad you like the content, man. That means a lot. Thank you, bud. I appreciate you saying that, Derek. You know, I've been doing this stuff for a long time, man. I started streaming. Like. I don't even remember what year it was, but it was around the time. That it was before. Whatever, what was what Gears of War was it on the on the Xbox One? I can't remember. It was years ago. Years ago. 
probably about seven years ago or something like that. And the only reason I never quit is because I love this shit. Been here since the sub 2000 sub mark. 17.4 thousand now. That yeah, is crazy, Mike. I appreciate that. Oh, this is the wrong type of tree. We won't find one. Oh my god! No! Save me. Yeah, what's crazy is. I think, like. I only really started to get viewers you know more than like 10 15 viewers on twitch and more than you know like 100 views on a youtube video when valheim came out and valheim came out way less than halfway through my content creation journey way less there is, I could name like a dozen content creators I was friends with that were like people trying to do the same thing alongside me at the time that quit. I only stayed doing it because I loved it and because the community and chat has been awesome. What's up, Uno? What's up, Seaway? Thanks for the stream, guys. Hope you're doing good. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Thanks, Derek. Doing great, thanks, you know. Okay. Um, now let's. Get um, out of a portal down. Now let's see if we have enough money to uh, get the strength belt that would be really epic yeah my base is like the gutter basically which is pretty funny oh you know what we originally went out for that we never followed up on oh we left it all at Haldor actually was flint <laughs> that's how all this started hang on hang on hang on Pretty funny chat. Where am I from? I'm from a little village in Lancashire called Pillin. It is just like a farming community, basically. Near Morecambe Bay. But I've been living in Leeds now since about 2008. I came here to go to university back then. 
Um, and just never left. Just I liked it. Um. This is all in the UK, in case people couldn't guess. Okay, noise. Uh, we just need a bit more bone here, apparently. Oh no, we don't have the hide. Yeah, in the UK. England, specifically. You're from Texas? Nice. I actually... My long-term plan is to move to America. I just have to be able to... Grow my... YouTube... Basically enough to be able to emigrate. I want to live uh, uh, live somewhere where there's basically decent. It doesn't have to be amazing weather, but decent weather all year round. I'm so t sick of English weather. It has been it has been bleak and miserable for like months of the weather wise recently. The one day the sun came out, I went for a run. <laughs> and I, I can't bring myself to go running in the woods and it's so miserable. Probably June, Daniel. The um, developers said it was going to be the, within the first half of the year and that means the Junes are cut off. I have a, we, we, like, so part of the plan for the family is um, my mom's going to be retiring um, within the next few years as well. And um, the plan is for us both to be able to emigrate. She's going to have some bad joints and stuff. So she wants to be somewhere warm. So we want to get us both over there to the States. And uh, she's looked at Texas as well because she likes the look, out, look of it. So never know where I could end up. Could be Texas for sure. We have a lot of people from Texas in the community, I've noticed. We left some money, I think. Oh shit, we're still short. Nova Scotia, nice. Canada. I, I really like nature and stuff. Canada seems to have gorgeous countryside. New Hampshire, nice. Yeah, basically all the places that we've been looking at living are places where it's not cold. Oh, we do have enough. There we go. Oh, we've got more than enough. I just forgot my already existing goal. But yeah, wouldn't be able to move there yet, I don't think. Um, 
but yeah, if the YouTube channel keeps to grow and my, uh, I guess you would call it business continues to grow, I'm hoping to be able to get over to the States. Went down south, the snow sucks sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> boom! This is a massive upgrade, chat. Look at that! Hell yeah! When was the last time you guys ever saw me put this on on stream? <laughs> Probably, maybe almost never. <laughs> I don't think it's really worth us buying anything else yet, is it? Fishing rod, maybe, but... I can't recall we ever putting the belt on. Yeah, I mean, the, the probably is legitimately so many people that have been subscribed to my YouTube channel for ages. It's probably like Thousands of them that's never <laughs> sent me put on a strength belt in Valheim because of all of the challenge and uh, speedrun content. <laughs> all right. So uh, the next thing I want to look at is actually upgrading our gear, uh, our weapons and stuff. So, let's just skip this night. I love it as well. Let's start off the money right now. What's the goal right now? Um, my goal right now is just want to upgrade my flint gear a little bit and then we're probably going to go and explore um the swamp to see if we can find a bone mass location That's good. I think maybe we should consider. We've not bothered with core wood yet, have we? I think we should make a fine wood bow. You search for multiple planes by your own, so your glove location on the world, but I can't find any suggestions. Um, it really is just so bad and so RNG. But you're looking for a stone circle, Stonehenge type formation. He, o that he only spawns on those stone hinges, it doesn't spawn in camps or anything like that, or dungeons or towers. The the, the, the rune doesn't spawn in any of those places. Uh, you're just looking on those stone circle things. And traditionally, those spawn around the edge of the plains biome. So either on the coast or um, where it meets another biome. So basically i would say that a strat is to just circle around the edge of every planes biome that you find to save you a little bit of time i 
I did. I think I actually explained in detail all tips to do with this in my Valheim Beginner's Guide to the Planes video, actually. You might get a link to it in the chat if you do exclamation planes. I'm not sure. But you can definitely find it on my YouTube channel. And it should be timestamped to find the information about finding the boss. Um, all right, let's get some more fine wood, I guess. So I how I had a pit with the roof. <laughs> yep. I was gonna dig a trench around the portal room there as well to make that safer. Which even though it's kind of boring and tedious, <laughs> but it's probably it's better than it being smashed by trolls, isn't it? I mean, I guess nothing would ever be the end of the world because we're. We're on a starter island still, so I guess it's not like an emergency. I'm just noticing, you know, it's funny the way that YouTube Super Chats work. The larger the donation, the longer the message is pinned to the top of chat. I've just noticed that because of how crazy Derek Canary and Mark super chats were they're, they're like permanently pinned up there still after all this time <laughs> freaking nutters Right. Yeah, I think it'd be a... Maybe we should actually... Sort of improve our food situation as well, thinking about it. It's going to take a while, though. Just 
Ten core wood. We can make that happen still. Redo my base in stone. It says he's a stone, yeah. I, I, I'm going to... I The reason I haven't started doing up this base yet is that I wanted to do it in... I want to do it in stone. I'm just waiting until I get there instead of redoing it. We'll, we'll have stone unlocked soon anyway. Because um, we, we have a swamp nearby or a portal now. When Ashlands comes out, are you doing to do another beating Valheim in reverse video? I'm definitely going to try and figure out how to make that happen, yeah. But I can't promise anything, obviously, because we don't actually know if it'll even be possible yet. But it is actually one of the most requested things. That and LOL Ashland's only challenge. That's <laughs> sort of some of the most popular comments at the minute. Just, which is funny because obviously the suit so you do as soon as you do the Mistland's only challenge, the people are just like, LOL, Ashland's next. I'm like, oh my god, oh, please no. So yeah. I like to try and do the crowd please of challenge videos. <laughs> so we'll see we'll see if it's possible. Hopefully. What's the best way to get fast mass stone? You mean the boat like but bone mass is rune? Is that what we're talking about? Um if you're talking about bone mass then obviously check every crypt you see, but also know that uh, he also spawns the tower, the, the stone towers in the swamp also have a possibility to have a bone mass Vetraceer on as well. And uh, if you get lucky, those are the fastest things. No? Oh, large quantities of stone. Sorry, I misunderstood. Probably the easiest and fastest way to get large quantities of stone are to go to the plains and destroy the pillars of stone in the plains from the bottom. And if you just, you just cut out the bottom, they'll fall down. Actually, one of the first pieces of content that I that ever went viral um, that I made that was about Valheim it is actually a TikTok um, that got a decent amount of views at the time where it's a clip of me cutting down a stone pillar for the first time You'll also get a lot if you uh, just uh, dig trenches. What well, one of the things I like to do is if you build a base, um, with trenches. Um, am I just going to go to the swamp like this? I think I kind of am. Like, if you build your base with, swim, with, with trenches anyway to protect it, right? You start killing two birds with one stone because you collect a, a lot of stone in the process.
And you can do that anywhere. Should at least go and have a little peek, eh? I mean, we're not really in a good place food-wise, but... Uh, June Poseidon. So foggy. Stay out of water and stuff. Well, way over the halfway point of the stream now, actually. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, the three hour mark is usually I'm going to remind you guys of all the different ways that you can support the content. Because without the support of our community, I would not be able to continue making content for you guys. So. The number one best way you can support the content financially is actually on Patreon at patreon.com slash nickrawcliffe. Patreon allows you to do a monthly donation, sort of like a Twitch sub. I said you can do it for any amount of money, even as little as $1. And how it works is, for example, if you were to subscribe at the $1 level, you'll donate $1 to me right now, and then you'll be donating $1 a month on the first of every month from then onwards until you cancel your subscription and you can cancel it at any time. Anyone that becomes a patron also gets invited to join two private Valheim servers. And you get to play on there whenever you want with the rest of the community. Oh, Poggy. Poseidon, thanks so much for the YouTube membership. Um, yeah, you get to play on the, on the Valheim servers whenever you want with the rest of the community. And you also get invited to play Valheim with me live on stream when we do server streams. Oh my God, double archer cringe. The next server stream is actually going to be in April, so pretty soon. Uh, you can do exclamation Patreon in the chat for the link or click the link in the description. It's always at the top of Twitch chat. And the, the reason Patreon is a big deal, guys, is just that it gives me regular income. Uh, the second best way to do financial support is actually just with one-off donations. Donations are the best way to do one-off contribution because your money goes the furthest. Oops. Uh, you can do exclamation donate in the chat for the link. Or click the link in the description. Uh, the difference between the two servers, one's a build server. That's a no reset server that people just go crazy with epic builds on. that will never reset. And one is a survival server that will reset with every major content patch. So it will reset, for example, with Ashlands. Um, and yeah, last but not least, you can support the content by doing super chats during the live streams on YouTube or by becoming a YouTube member. Members get access to behind the scenes content or by sharing with bits or becoming a Twitch sub on the Twitch streams. Also, don't forget to join the Discord. It's the number one best way to make sure you don't miss any live streams or videos because I do post now and I go live. I want to post a new video and I do also like those random updates about what I'm up to in there. Um, and last but not least, the best way you can help me out completely for free is just by smashing the like button on YouTube and subscribing to the YouTube channel because it makes it more likely for my content to show up in the YouTube algorithm. Even if you're watching live on Twitch, which, by the way, if you didn't know, we do stream live on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. So you can watch wherever you want. You can find those links in the description too. But uh, even if you watch on Twitch, the best way you can help me out for free is still to go to the YouTube stream. Smash like, smash subscribe, and then just go back to watching on Twitch if that's what you want to do. I do not mind at all when you guys watch. It makes no difference to me, really. Um, but smashing like and subscribing to the YouTube channel helps me out 
a lot more than uh, just following the Twitch channel just because of the YouTube algorithm where I post all my videos and stuff. Okay. It's a pathetic little swamp. We've spoken about this so many times on stream, but so often um, small swamps are an absolute nightmare. It looked like it got bigger over on this side though, so let's see about that. loop first. So there's kind of a lot going on when you enter the swamps in there. <laughs> yeah, at least you do kind of suck, I'm gonna lie. It's looking a little better here now. We get some uh, uh Thank you, Rim. GG. I guess on this ancient bark. Can we just get one biome's worth of enemies at a time, please? Oh my god, he fucking alerted before. That's so annoying. Well, you're getting to get wrecked now, aren't you, Grey Dwarfs? Should have stayed out of it. Draugas look so funny when they just like ragdoll onto the ground. Ooh, look at this. This could be kind of nice. Keep pressing the wrong button. that sneaky fucking Draugr coming up. We're we'll be better off just using an axe getting this done quickly. Oh, I wanted to tank him to hit the final shot, but... Okay. 
We'll let him come around this way. What the fuck? Rude. That's the remain calm. Get it done. Um, I really care. I want more about. I do want a blood bag as well. But I need to... I keep throwing money away and I need to just stop doing that. It's not worth money than I should really at this point. Okay, okay, okay. I need to get some seeds whilst we're here as well, ideally. Nice. Definitely have to have your wits about you a lot more, don't you, in the swamp than the uh, first couple of biomes. I'd really like to make some root armor. Not seen any crypts yet, have we? Oh, there we go. There's another one there. I don't think you'll be able to reach me if I stay up here, but it might be a waste of arrows regardless. So I'm going for the first shot. To not be fire arrows, because higher pierce damage will have a higher sneak attack damage. And change the fire arrows to the DPS. Shit, don't think you can reach me up here, so. That's a win. Like I said, though, I don't know if it's really worth using all of the fire arrows. Oh, he's gonna run away anyway. Coward. Where are you going, dude? He is hard enough. Not either in a wraith house, true. Very few structures we've seen in this swamp. by that I can't see not being able to see is like the biggest death sentence ever oh the fucking drug is sneaking up
Yeah, honestly, if you use a bonfire, abomination is a super trivial right from the start, really. But we're having fun, so I'm fighting them normal. He's flying. Sweat debuff is very annoying. Oh, no, he's almost dead. Fucking hell. Where are you running to now, Draugr? Oh my god. That grayling got deleted. We just witnessed the murder, I think, chat. What? He blocked me. I should be against the rules. Fucking hell, down the tree. Alright, things are getting a little bit out of hand. I tried to kill this Drogo whilst it's not alerted. Because it will die so quickly from the sneak attack. <laughs> We're like fighting the entire fucking game right now, feels like. There's an draw got archer there that's very bad news maybe we just finish off the combination from range because that's uh one shot death for us until we reach in a bit all right Oh, he saw me. What a fucker. Now, let me regen, let me regen. Roy. That's nice. Ten roots is pretty good. So we've got an archery and dodge rolling. <laughs> Thanks, bud. All right. We continue. In fact, you know what? Let's get rested first. I know, look at all of this chaos. There is so much going on at once, right? Pretty funny. I love it, not gonna lie. I love it when Valheim gets hectic. All right. 
right. Okay. Oh, we want to explore this way. Can't really see much here. Ooh. Oh shit, that DPS. Well, actually, we'll be alright. Um, I'm thinking, you know, you know what? I think we just go back. We should be able to make our root harness, which may not seem like the obvious first choice, because if we made the mask, lose it, we get the poison resistance right. But the thing is. Because I'm kind of going around with low health and low armor value, I'd rather have the protection against Pierce. Because it will actually save us from those Draugr archers. Oh my god, I'm stuck on a random cliff. That used to watch Nick playing with actual gear. <laughs> True. I'm hyped for getting to the mountains and grinding for Fenris armor, to be honest. It's just so good. Love that speed boost. I have to mark this portal, I think. It's kind of a nightmare. Leeches there actually. That's good. Um, I'm gonna head back to base real quick. I've got a portal at the trader. And uh, I want to make. Um, The root harness, so I don't have to worry about Draugr archers somewhere at the swamp. Because the PS reduction is massive. And we have been exploring the swamp, obviously, and we're trying to. Good to find bonus location, but we didn't find any crypts or anything. Yeah, I'm gonna mark this portal. Let's 
see a troll over there. We were killing that guy. Do you think we still need some mats right to uh fully level up our gear? Oh my god, if this one button again. Give me your skin, bruh. All right. We go. I keep going to reach my drink, but I've drank it. <clears throat> very nice, very nice. Now, uh, let's have a look at this. Roots. Right, so we need a little bit of hide. Very good for us. Is it released? What happened? It's coming out very soon. June at the latest. So I'm doing my Ashlands preparation now. There is a chance it could come sooner. We don't know about that. All right. Okay, that's actually really good. Our stuff needs a bit of organizing, of course, but. Um, Right. I think I'm now going to just go back to that swamp and uh, continue looking uh yeah, for some sign of bone mass. It's not looking good so far, though. Iron Gate literally said it would be out in the first half of the month. They keep saying it will be done soon. Progress is looking excellent. 
it comes out at June in June. The absolute latest unless they announce a delay. Which I don't see why they would considering. All of the sneak peeks and stuff they've shown. Why is my base on the ground? Um, this base is like one of the most secure. Well, one of the most like raid safe base setups you can do. Where it's under the elder spawn because you can't destroy the roof. It's invincible. And then... Um, the trench around the outside makes it so that trolls won't be able to reach anything that we build inside it either. So it's just to protect from raids. Alright, wait until you see how little damage an archer will do to us now, chat. For those that may not be aware of the power of the root harness. Alright, let's let, let him hit me. Okay, he can't even hit me. Right, let's deal with this guy. Hit me. So that's like nothing. 4.9 damage. Like... Yeah, the root harness is like one of the best things you can use for dealing with Desky O's for sure. So good. to get that hit in really. I'm trying to tank it. Still a little damage now anyway. Yeah, the root armor is it's so cool honestly that the harness is so clutch dealing with pierce damage and that the helmet the mask is poison resistance it, it honestly is such a useful armor set awesome i really like that you know they they started to add to the the sort the, the sets of uh, you know sort of more utility useful armors with the root and the Fenris instead of it you know just having the troll it's so good I hope we see another one in the Ashlands Well, it's, hmm, they kind of sort of already teased one, right? Like some sort of leather one. Nice, Biohazard. Congratulations. Hope you enjoyed the grind.
Oh, another one. That's good. The same thing's gonna happen as last time, it says it's a chaos. I can, I can smell it. Oh, that was a close call. What? I got... Okay. I think they're getting hit by this affected me. Somehow there. I'm pretty sure I'm trying to dodge right. Maybe not though. I think I'm just going to start bringing bonfire mats. This is like fine, but obviously just <laughs> making it take longer than it needs to. Yeah, the queen does deal big damage when she hits, no matter what at the minute. I think I see a settling spawner. Maybe I should save my durability. Um, and just use this. Considering they're not going to deal a lot of damage to us either way. So I have to worry about our axe breaking. Yeah, it is a pretty long epic boss fight, the Queen. That's for shout. Oh, more swamp over there. I'm super excited for our as well, dude. It's going to be awesome. It's one of the reasons why I'm actually doing this. Like, I, n I never do normal playthroughs, really, on my channel. But I'm actually excited to be playing right now because of the Ashlands update looming on the horizon. You know what I think we might do in the next session? Let's go find a Leviathan. I want an Abyssal Razor.
Are we going to be baited and this is just like a small one? Any thoughts on what the boss might be? I'm not sure, but I think it might... Uh, I, I, it might be something in that's actually in a pool of lava that you have to fight. Maybe like a giant fire serpent or something. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Look at this. The RNG we're getting on this save is fucking amazing, dude. That is so good. Oh, we do actually have the carry capacity to go and collect a lot of that too. I just, yeah, I don't have boat mats on me. It's the only thing. It's getting to next to the coast. It, like, Le Leviathans can spawn ne next to each other like that. And they can spawn really close to the coast. But getting a, both things to happen is really rare and super fucking awesome RNG. No, I missed. I'm dead. I'm not dead. What am I about? I'm just going to perhaps be poisoned. <laughs> but we didn't. We dodged it. That's fucking awesome. That's awesome, Biohazard. Yeah, it's going to be so good. That's so cool, actually, that you just sort of stumbled into Missiles not realizing it was there. Yeah, Missiles is epic as well for the first time. Whatever, bro. Um, I just want to see... Um, looks definitely on our side. Like we, for anyone who missed it, we actually basically have trader on our starter island as well we've not left our starter island yet really except for going over these tiny little rivers we killed two bosses found a swamp trader two leviathans not even made a single boat yet what would you say is the best armor combo you can have not just for protection I mean, Fenris, just, just the Fenris set, because the speed speed buff alone is just massive. I honestly don't think there's a better combination, just because obviously you get fire resistance, cold resistance, but also like, that's just a bonus really, because the speed boost makes such a big difference in combat. It sort of just helps in every scenario. You don't even need to make... You don't even need to have a cape slot either because the Fenris set gives you that cold resistance anyway, so it frees up a inventory slot, which is crazy. One of the things as well that is also uh, really good is 
just with any of the faster armor sets like helmets don't decrease your movement speed so if you're wearing like troll armor or root armor because you like to go faster and you're not so concerned with the sneak bonus buff like you can just wear the best helmet you can get your hands on for the extra protection and still have the uh, the advantage of being able to move faster that's also awesome like thing you can do combining armors okay I was trying to hold out and tank for the three hit combo and it worked to kill that guy but it wasn't really worth it we maybe just kite a little bit here and hope for the a little bit of help from the forest. <laughs> the chaos is just non stop. Oh my god, dude, seriously. Got a wet debuff, will you please not? I think it's worth the stamina of dodging archers when you've got the root harness on actually. I do want to kill this abomination though. Has he gone to Narnia? Here we go. Where's the abomination at? could find that grip to it would be godlike this seed yeah pretty funny how that it's not to be seen come on abomination oh is that a hit oh we just missed him oh fuck this here we go we're in business anyway fight Place your bets now, chat. <laughs> Who do you think's gonna win? Relatively close. The abomination had a lot less health to start with. It's actually pretty close. <laughs> Troll wins. Troll doesn't stand a chance. Yeah. It doesn't really, honestly. But it's closer than I thought it was going to be. Well played, Abomination. Now for your final boss. Me. That troll was uh, very useful, though. Thank you, friend. It saved me a bunch of time there. Um, 
hide. Hello? Alright, I was just trying to get back home. I showed up for work once. True. Are you coming, Wraith? Yeah. Would be kind of annoying. They're up now, though. Oh, my God. Let's -a go. I'm just thinking about like what gear I really want to make in this run because like we're honestly already getting to the point with like the some of the stuff we have where we could survive most of the game pretty easily especially if we just make slightly better food Either way, I think I want to kill Bone Mass soon because I want to make a Crystal Battle Axe. So I want to do Silver and doing Silver without Wishbone is just annoying, really. Am I going to make Root Armor? Uh, I've already made a chest piece. I'll at least make the mask. I don't think I'll bother with the pants. Maybe, though. It is a cool armor set. Yeah, I want the helm for poison resistance, exactly. Also, serious contender for the best helmet in the game, right? The root one. I mean, it's got to be either that or the Fenris one, right? Fenris one has the eyes, which is pretty dope. I don't think pants have an individual buff, but they there is a set bonus for root armor that improves your archery. But you know, it it makes a difference. How much it really matters to us on this playthrough. Kind of. I, I don't know. I can't see us sticking with it for very long. Fenris set is like kind of end game for me in this playthrough, probably. I don't, you know. Oh, look. A fish threw himself ashore. Yeah, it is a little bit of a grind to make the Fenris set, but yeah, it's but it's so good. Yeah, no question about that. Yeah, that's it. The all of the sort of heavy armor pieces, 
they're very good of course for the damage resistance but yeah like running around with the damage with the speed reduction is pretty annoying all right gg That was fun. Um, where's the leather? this for now do, 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 do. It does look pretty sick yeah that's definitely good Poseidon definitely it's a pretty good idea, honestly, to uh, just combine whatever the best helmet you can get your hands on. Obviously, Carapace would be good um, with the Fenris set for the speed buff, for sure. And the fire resistance. All right, guys. I think we're going to call it there for this evening. Before you go anywhere, make sure you smash the like button on the YouTube stream. It really, really helps me out. It's the best way you can help me out with the YouTube algorithm because it makes it more likely for my content to show up in the recommended feed. And of course, subscribe as well. If you watch on Twitch, you can do exclamation YouTube to head over there and smash like and smash sub before you go. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Remember as well, you can support me on Patreon. It's always a pinned message in the chat. You can support me with donations or by doing Twitch subs or YouTube memberships and all the rest of it. Don't forget to join the Discord as well. It's the number one best way to make sure you don't miss any live streams or videos. That's make sure Discord in the chat or link in the description. I'll be back very soon with part three of my Ashlands preparation playthrough. We made great progress tonight, uh, and yeah, I had fun. Um, I uh, I do have some videos I want to make, of course, but because I want to make sure this playthrough is done um, before the uh, Ashlands comes out, I'm going to be doing these streams as often as you can, as often as I can before it comes out. But anyway, thank you so much. I want to do a huge, huge shout out again to Derek to Canary, to, to Mark, uh, to Ivy Mike, to Dana, to FaZe, and anyone else I might have forgotten that did crazy donations today. Thank you so much. You guys' support is absolutely incredible. It always inspires me to keep going, and yeah, I'm super happy that uh, you guys are enjoying the content, because I'm still enjoying making it, so... Thank you so much, and I uh, will see you very soon. Um, sometime within the next couple of days, most likely, if not tomorrow. For part three of the Ashlands preparation playthrough. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.